a custom champagne bar built into his bed, an indoor NBA-sized court with a custom OVO logo, supercars worth more than the White House. Drake is worth hundreds of millions of dollars, and this is how the biggest rapper in the world spends his money. To start it off, it's no surprise that famous celebrities like LeBron or The Rock have their own private jets. But few have what Drake has. In 2019, Drake bought a custom Boeing 747 worth upwards of $220 million. The plane, Air Drake, is a mansion in the sky, suited up with gold walls, luxurious leather couches, and plush striped carpets. Drake wrapped the entire 250-foot plane in light blue paint and printed on the Ovio Owl all over it. There's two main rooms for Drake to party with models and gamble with his friends. In one room, Drake installed three dining room tables so he can feast with large groups of guests and drink $1,000 bottles of champagne. Drake also installed custom flat-screen TVs in every room so he never misses Toronto Raptors games on his way to shows. With a hectic tour schedule like Drake, he gets tired after performing, so he installed a $300,000 bed in the back of the plane with custom dimming lights. When Drake gets up from his nap, he likes to take a cold shower, so he added a $10,000 shower system with a color-changing rainfall to the plane's bathroom. But if you think Drake went overboard there, wait till you hear about his car collection. Drake has just about every sports car a person would want. To start off, Drake bought a 2010 Bugatti Veyron for $2.2 million. The car can go up to 253 miles per hour, which is enough to run through the six with his crew. But Drake got bored of driving his girlfriends to the pharmacy in it. So he bought the rarest car on the planet, which has only one model in existence. Drake's Devil 16 cost him $2 million and goes even faster than his Bugatti, reaching speeds up to 320 miles per hour. The car is so newly produced that it's not even safe to drive. But that didn't stop Drake pairing it with his custom yellow LaFerrari in the I'm Upset music video. And you'd be mistaken if you thought Drake's car collection stopped there. Drake needed a car to drive his son Adonis to school, so he bought a four-door Bentley with an 18-karat gold center console and elaborate diamond-quilted seat fabric. Imagine showing up to kindergarten in a car that costs more than the school. And when Drake needs to get his mind off music and unwind, he cruises around Toronto in his McLaren 675 LT. Drake treated himself to the $900,000 car after he sold 900,000 records for his album views. Drake couldn't park the cars at any house, though. So he custom built a 50,000 square foot mansion worth $100 million. Because Drake is so famous, he can't leave the house a lot. So he built everything he would need inside. Drake installed marble floors and spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on limestone, bronze, and exotic woods to make the mansion feel monumental. When guests first walk in, Drake leads them into the great room which has 44-foot ceilings and a $450,000 grand piano front and center. But Drake thought the room wasn't great enough, so he added a $20,000 piece hand-cut crystal chandelier that hangs above his guests while they party. For when his guests are too loud, Drake wanted a space to decompress, so he designed a 3,200-square-foot master bedroom with a $500,000 bed weighing almost a ton. And for when Drake is re-watching Degrassi episodes and doesn't want to leave bed, he built a whiskey and champagne bar into the headboard. Drake paired the room with a lavish master bath and a 4,000-pound black marble bathtub. The bathroom leads to Drake's two-story closet draped with purple crystal cabinets and diamond-tufted chairs. Drake uses the extra storage to display his expensive wardrobe, hype beast sneakers, and Hermes Birkin bags. And when Drake isn't in L.A. to record music, he records at home in his world-class $350,000 recording studio. And after a studio session with his boys, Drake walks through a museum of Hall of Fame sports jerseys that leads to his custom basketball court. The NBA-sized indoor arena sports a giant OVO logo center court, full scoreboard and a center court couch bench to sit on after working up a sweat. The court also has a 21-square-foot skylight and a sky deck overlooking the court, so guests can watch Drake hoop from above. If you thought Drake left the house without some bling, you'd be mistaken. 
It's rumored Drake's jewelry collection is worth over $10 million, and he's splurged on some pretty expensive pieces. Drake spent $100,000 on a custom Stone Island chain that weighs 900 grams. The chain's made of green, yellow, and black diamonds with Drake's signature engraved on the back, but that's not even his most expensive piece. Drake spent $1 million on a 100-carat heart-shaped diamond necklace. With jewelry like that, Drake is guaranteed to stand out no matter the occasion. Drake's time is valuable, which explains why he splashed on a few watches. Drake spent $500,000 on a Paul Newman edition Rolex, but his favorite watch is even more expensive, and it's a Richard Milley watch that cost him $750,000. Drake doesn't just spend his millions on accessories and cars, he's also a businessman. In 2013, Drake became a global ambassador for his NBA team, the Toronto Raptors. Drake's business partnership with the Raptors donated $3 million to refurbishing local basketball courts in Toronto and to Canada's Basketball Association. But Drake's interest in sports went European in 2018. Drake has been photographed in just about every European soccer jersey, but he can't support multiple teams anymore because of a recent investment. Drake partnered with LeBron James in making a minority stake investment in Italian soccer team, AC Milan, and he's tapped into other sports too. Drake was an early investor in esports and owns a stake in the 100 Thieves team. The gaming team received a $25 million investment from Drake and other investors, like NBA owner Dan Gilbert and music agent Scooter Braun. Drake surely made his money back and more as 100 Thieves are now worth over $125 million. But if you thought Drake spent all his fortunes on himself, you'd be mistaken. In the past, Drake donated $75,000 towards a Philadelphia high school recording studio. But in 2013, Drake took his philanthropy to a new level in his God's Plan video. Instead of spending his video budget on girls and cars, Drake saved $1 million to give back to locals in Miami. He gave away $25,000 to a Miami high school and $20,000 to the Miami Fire Department. But Drake's charity didn't stop there. He also spent $50,000 on a women's homeless shelter and another $50,000 in University of Miami Music Scholarships. Drake also took action when Hurricane Harvey hit Texas and Louisiana in 2017, pledging $200,000 to a relief fund. Drake hasn't shown any signs he'll stop donating anytime soon. In 2020, he donated $100,000 to the National Bailout Organization. The organization is a community-based movement to end pre-trial detention and mass incarceration, an issue Drake cares about.